Hello, this is Alekius, and welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts as the French. Looking to close out our war with Japan, short though it may have been, so that we can focus on Russia and finish what we wanted to. However, negotiations with Japan have failed. All right, our port attack, advanced structural steel. That is very nice. Oh, and a new hull. That'll be fun. Four superimposed mounts for large guns. Losing a number of transports. North Sea, Baltic Sea, that's to be expected. Arabian Sea, yeah, that's to be expected too. There we go. Now we have Kamchatka. Leaves us one to go. Send the whole kit and caboodle over here. In fact, we can even combine them this time. And we'll split them off as needed. Kova, hero of the empire, is now finished repairing. Let's send her back out. These guys are sending for rest and refit. Not quite finished. Senna is, though. So let's send her on in down to here. Looks like our cruisers are about where they need to be. We can move our submarines. Can we put them on the strategic map? like a yes three at a time interesting where else do we have submarines Cadiz, Marseille. Move one of these to Bilbao. So we should set them up in the Bay of Biscay and the North Atlantic. So let's move three more. And send some out to the car. I want Marseille, thank you. Caribbean holdings. Which 
Booty, Magong, Kadiz, which is right there. I'm going to move all of those. Uh, let's station a few in Libreville. Actually, Maroni would be a good one. We have the Djibouti ones. So I'm going to stuff those into the Red Sea. And we can move some more over into the Arabian Sea. It'll be good use. Where else? We have them in Magong, Tunis. Tunis ones will leave. Cadiz and Marseille. Let's move those into the Caribbean. Asia and the Philippine Sea. Get those operational since we haven't been utilizing them. I thought they were uh, more automatic than that. My mistake. Eastern Poland, slow but steady progress. Fleet-wise, all ships are operational, building, or repairing. Looks like we get another convoy attack. Be interesting to see where this time. Italians want alliance. They want money, yeah. And there is our port strike. Advanced raiding for more reconnaissance power projection and invade power. Nice. Soviets moving through minefields. Oh, lost a whole bunch that time. Sweden looking for a few destroyers for a modest price. Could be better. Yeah, they're looking to go down to the Canaries and hopefully we'll intercept them there. Subs moving everywhere. More progress in eastern Poland. Almost to Ludertz. There's our convoy attack. Between a heavy cruiser, two light cruisers, and two light cruisers and a destroyer. We definitely have the advantage there. There's our super fleet in the east. 
go to politics, down to Russia. Naval invasion, not Central Russia. That's not what we're looking for. Do we have to soften them up some? Why is there a French flag over here? I get this one. I do not get this one. I do not own southern Siberia. Looks like we're borrowing another Palestro from the Koreans. And then two of our Galilees. Slow though they may be, we have those heavily armed cruisers. They're very slow though. I hadn't noticed that. And a fast destroyer. Let's see what we can manage. Devastation. We'll go for a simple follow. I'm glad we're getting to use these cruisers more, even if we're borrowing them from our allies. I think they're much better than I gave them credit for. Not that they're amazing or couldn't be improved upon. To the east. Okay, we might be trying to maneuver this time. Let's see if that leads to a cut. are only 10 kilometers to the rear. We're going to be careful with our Palestra this time. Alright, 6 kilometers in. Looks like we can turn realistically in about 700 meters.
is going to let me ride up alongside the transports in single mall, I will gladly do so. destroyer. These are the two cruisers. And in fact, let's switch all the target, all the guns. That's definitely a destroyer. And the infamous water bearing ones. weight of fire from those four inch on the cruisers. and the 8th all firing on the cruiser. Seven percent hit chance with the main battery on the cruiser. Five percent hit chance per salvo, according to the game. guys we're coming along 
almost within range of the transport pozu. While the devastation is on the far side of the convoy. sit here all day. Only 7% crew losses. That is much less than theirs. That includes the transports. Looks like the British car has been hit once. The 6 inches part of the main battery? would be amazing. That's gotta be within four? Almost. We barely hit her. 10% hit chance. focus all that well no because the secondary battery is just the orange keep that on the transports looks like the destroyer is coming out to meet our light cruisers focus all guns hard turn I'm expecting torpedoes at any moment that looks like that was launched yep sure was launched by the cruiser in front of that one. 
and we'll get our ship turning. I think we're gonna take two. Ooh, very bad. Yeah, I'm not too surprised by that. I let them sneak up a little too much. Pop the smoke and stay focused on the destroyer. We've opened up range to five kilometers, we've sharpened our accuracy. But they are definitely focusing on our light cruisers a lot more. If we can sink this entire convoy though, I'm okay losing one of our light cruisers. Especially as they're a quarter the size of theirs. Actually, nah, we're a little too far away for torpedoes. Flooding hit on the destroyer. That'll help tremendously. I'm gonna do something risky. Oh, okay, it's been accomplished. We're still in a fight here. should definitely be on the Suzuki. And if you have a shot with the torpedoes, make it. I think it's only one per side? Yes, one per side. These are fast ones though. No, those are slows. Those are 19... 15 torpedoes, maybe? Or, I mean, uh, 1890 torpedoes? Still fired it. And there's theirs. is being smart and retreating. Nice. Good hit. smoke we should get out of there because those two light cruisers are going to chew up ours even if we lose the doberdu as long as we sink both of these cruisers that would still be a win Can the 4-inch battery chew up the destroyer on its own? I mean, there's enough of them.
aft engine compartment flooded on the destroyer. That's very good. come to a full stop there? Alright, we need to make our turn because they have torpedoes still. Will use them. And apparently have used them. But I don't think they exploded. Flash fire. Shift in targets. There they are. Should be clear. for comfort. That's why I get to being overly focused on the destroyer though. Bring our light cruiser back. gonna survive? Flotation's still headed down, and they're still cooking off ammo. Disadvantage of having almost 24 inch guns on her. Still cooking off. <laughs> this is a more comfortable range for us. Keep our turn going. We'll further hurt our accuracy, but I don't care at this point. I want to stay close enough to land the blows we need to. Fire seems to be coming under control on the devastation. Crew losses are pretty high at this point though.
get off this next salvo and we'll make another turn. Start our turn. See if she'll turn into us. Probably be the smarter choice. Alright, I think that's the best angle we're gonna get. Let's see if we can get our torpedo off. We've lost the angle already. We cancel the fire, we will. We'll shift sides. And... There. Hopefully that gives enough time for the torpedoes to angle. There they go. Shift rudder again. The torpedo misfire? Did we hit our own torpedo? Before it armed properly. Not quite sure what happened there. Let's do a leisurely 10 degree right rudder. I, I said a leisurely 10 degrees right rudder. Maintaining reasonable accuracy. Keep this torpedo off until we get to the right angle. We'll be going straight this entire time. Or not, because she's slightly turning. So we'll turn with her. She's slowly accumulating damage from the devastation. No, nope, those were a 5.9 inch of the Debordu. Got those hits in. Flooding result. Back aft. Which is good. Make the rudder responses sluggish. Optimal position for torpedo now. Come on, you can do it. sank before we could get the torpedo off.
total wipeout for the loss of one of our rather small light cruisers and ancient. I'll, I'd call that a win, and so does the game, by quite a significant margin. There we go. Paris and Versingetorex are good to go. These guys are headed away. I do see some Japanese out in the middle of the Pacific, Eastern Pacific. Got these guys going there. You know what? I'm going to send this group to the tip of India. And we'll evaluate from there. That should be all non-mine layers underway. Except for the Deberdu pulled in. Although she's a mine layer too, isn't she? Yeah. So she's where she needs to be. Yeah. All those ships are where they should be. Our mine layers in Santa Cruz. Do want those there. In fact, I wouldn't mind having three more. I want this list to be in alphabetical order or something. with the port name first. Let's build six more. Place these ones up in... Actually, you know what? We'll do three each for Helsingfors, Hongo, and Tolinen. If we can find it. Lithuania, Western Germany, Western France, Northern Spain. Have I passed it already? Nope, there it is. Estonia. Southern fin Finland and Helsingfors. And Hongo. There we go. Get a few more mine layers where we want them. Probably want to mine both sides of the channel at Gibraltar. But that can wait. Everybody else is underway or doing stuff. Nice. I like that they give you that option. This fleet is definitely at Southern Siberia now. Can we do it now? No. All right, we'll leave the fleet there and we'll seek to close out the... Oh no, we don't want to close out the war till we finish with Eastern Poland. Oh, we have finished. That's why we had so much extra money there for a little bit. 
we keep building more, we're really not using our shipbuilding capacity, but I'd like the surge capacity. 20 million a month for the next two years. 23 million. All right, I think we're going to leave it here, though. I appreciate you staying to the end. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you all next time. Take care, everyone.